Hi everyone! Yes, it is snowing again. I'm Matteo and this is Architects 3D Printing. In the last episode, we started the assembly of the CTC Prusa i3 that we bought from the internet. And at the end of the video, we could have a 3D printer that was almost completely built with the lack of the carriage and the cables. The first things we're going to install are the Z axis, the X axis, and the carriage. And then we'll finish with the cables. Let's get started with the Z axis. To install that, we will need the two threaded rows, the two smooth rows, and those two pieces of wood that we go here and here. And to fit everything in place, we will need again four nuts, four screws and four washers. The first step will be to take the two threaded rows and insert the flexible part in the motors. Once we have the threaded rows in place, we have to take the smooth rows and insert them in the holes. And now the second. Now we have to take the wooden parts and put them in place like so. To install the bridge before we have to put in place these two pieces through the smooth roots to the bottom. Now we have to insert the bridge and just screw it. To try to maintain more or less the same distance between the two screws. Well, it's enough for now. Now we're gonna measure both sides of the bridge to check if it's more or less level. 22 on this side and 22. Now the next step is to take those two wooden pieces and put them in place. For this we'll need four screws, four washers and four nuts again. But before we'll need the hammer. Put the threaded rod in place and then... And now we have to do the same on the other side. I have the screws, the washers and the nuts here. As always, insert the screws into the washers and then place the nuts in its place. At this point, we have the printer completely assembled and we just have to plug in all the cables. The first cables we're going to connect are the ones from the power socket. And for that, we are gonna pass them through this hole in the lateral of our machine. Once we pass the cables, we are going to connect them here in the power supply. But before, we have to prepare the screws. The first one, we have to connect the yellow to the third pin. Then, the red one to the second pin. Finally, the black one to the first pin, the right side. Now, we can tie up the screws. The next we are going to apply are the different end stops. We have one here for the Y axis, the other one is here for the X axis and the other one is here in the bottom for the Z axis. The order of the connectors is X end stop, Y end stop and Z end stop. So we're gonna start with the red one that is the X sensor. We're gonna plug it here. The next is the blue one. So we're gonna do the same and connect it to the third pin. And finally the Z end stop goes here. The next and last part we're going to install in the printer is actually the nozzle and it goes right here. But for that we need before to disassemble it in order to connect it to the carriage. 
to disassemble the nozzle, we first have to remove these two screws that are placed in the bottom of the fan. Once we remove them, we carefully take off the motor itself and the fan and heat seal. Now we are going to use this metal plate to hold it in place. Our printer will have assembled these two screws that we need to remove. We are going to take the metal plate and put it in place. In our case, we are going to use the two holes in the bottom in order to be able to print higher pieces. For that, just put the screws back in place, fasten the bridge, and reinsert the nuts from the back. Now we just have to put together the extruder again. First, we insert the screws of the fan and then we put the motor in place. We will put some pressure on the screws in order to avoid vibrations while printing. And now we are done. The whole printer is assembled. The last step is to connect all the cables that we have around to the motherboard and we're ready to go. The order of the cables doesn't matter, but we're gonna start from the bottom to the top in order to operate this link. First we're gonna connect the end stops. This is the end stop holder. Here we can find the end stop for the carriage. And here is the end stop from the Z axis. The order of the connectors is X and stop, Y and stop, and Z and stop. We're gonna start with the red one, that is the X sensor, we're gonna plug it here. The next is the blue one, the Y axis. So we're gonna do the same and connect it to the third thing here. And finally, the Z and stop goes here. The next we're gonna connect are the fans. We have one fan here and the other one here that is cooling the electronics. So, first we'll take the cable of the extruder fan and we will connect it to here. And then the cable from the fan that cools the electronics and we'll connect it here. The next cables we're gonna connect are the cables from the motors of the Z-axis. This and this. For that, we will connect them right here this connector and this connector. To connect the left motor we have to take one of the long cables that came with the printer and plug it to the motor like this. Once we have the cable connected we have to run the cables through this hole and pass it through the other part of the printer. The other motor we have to do the same process. First we have to connect the cable to the motor and then we can run it from the side up to here. We are going to connect them to the motherboard. One and two. The next cable we're going to connect is the extruder to the motherboard. So we will take the long cable and we'll plug it into the motor in the extruder. Then we'll run the cable to the motherboard and connect it right here. For the x-axis, we have to plug the short cable to the motor in the side, like this, and then connect the cable in this point. Finally, we have to connect the motor of the y-axis to the motherboard, and we are going to do the same than always. We'll plug the cable in the motor, and finally connect it to this socket. So now, you should have the motherboard more or less like this. As you may know, our printer has two thermistors, one in the nozzle and one in the heat bed. So the next step is connect those cables to the motherboard. The sockets to connect the cables are placed right here. We will connect the heat bed to the third one and the nozzle to the first one. 
the cable that is coming from the nozzle are two cables, red and red, so we are going to plug it in the socket in the top. And the thermistor from the heat bed has two cables, black and red, we are going to plug it in the bottom socket like so. Ok, so next step we'll be connecting the LCD to the motherboard. For that we'll connect the cable in the top, we'll run it through this hole in the frame and we will plug it in the top connection. Now we'll do the same with the second cable, we'll plug it in the socket in the bottom, like so. We'll run the cable through the hole and we'll finally plug it in the motherboard. Finally, we only have two more cables to plug and they are coming from the nozzle and from the heat bed. The first cable is coming from the nozzle and we are going to plug it right here in the motherboard. Finally, the last cable coming from the heat bed has a red and black cables. We are going to connect it right here. At this point, we are almost done. We only need to connect the power supply with the motherboard and we are ready to go. For that we are going to run the cable through this hole and also this hole so we can reach the motherboard one side and the power supply from this side. As before we have to connect those plugins to the power supply. The red ones will go on the left side. the black ones in the center of the mother. Finally we have to put some pressure on the screws. Now close the orange cover and we are done. As you can see we have our printer completely built. Only needs little touches like the cable management but we will do it in the next episode. If you like the video, please don't forget to click the like button and feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or any suggestions about the video. You can also consider to support me on Patreon to keep making it possible if you want. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube as well as following it on Twitter or Instagram as Architects3DP. See you on the next video.